Okay, so the plan today is to add a layer of shingles to this house object. First, I need to delete my annotations. Then I need to enable a free architectural Blender package. And I do that by going to Edit, then Preferences. In Preferences, make sure you have Add-on selected in the left-hand side. Then we go to the search bar and type in Arc for Architecture. These two packages come up. The one we're going to use today is the one at the top, Archimesh. So I check the box to enable the add-on. And now I can go back to my 3D viewport. So I close my preferences window. Then I go to add mesh and our recently enabled package is at the bottom. Archimesh. You can see it's got a list of architectural elements. The one we're going to use today is roof here at the bottom. But before I do that, I need to position my 3D cursor on the roof. And that will make the placement of my roof object easier here in a little while. So I hit escape to cancel the add operation. Then select my object, hit tab to switch to edit mode. Make sure I'm on vertex select. Then I go select the vertex on my top right corner. Hit shift S to open the cursor menu and hit three cursor to active. Switch back to object mode. And now we can do shift A to add the roof. Mesh, Archimesh, roof. Notice that we have a menu on the bottom left corner. Let's open it up. And here we have all these parameters that you need to set when you first add your object. Because this menu goes away after you perform a different operation. And I'll demonstrate now what I'm talking about. Let's slide our roof along the Y axis. So I do the hotkeys G, then Y. So you can see our, our menu is still there because I haven't finalized the operation. In fact, let me cancel by pressing escape. So if you cancel, nothing happens. But let me try it again. G, then Y. And once I hit enter, the menu goes away. And now yet you have a new menu for your um, move operation. Since I still need to adjust the settings, I'm going to have to add a new roof. But before I do that, I need to measure the area where the roof is going to go. As you can see, the default roof is quite small. So I'm going to have to increase its size either by scaling it or by adding more shingles. Okay, so in order to take my measurements, I need to go to the left hand side and select my measure tool. If you hover over it, it gives you a description on how to use its functions, but I'm also going to demonstrate it right now. To add a measurement, left click, hold it, and drag your ruler as far as you need to. I also need to measure this side, so I do the same thing. Left click, hold, and drag across. Now I need to snap the ends of the ruler into place. In order to do that, I grab the edge of my ruler, bring it close to the corner, hit control. And when that little circle comes up, let it go. And we do the same thing for the other edge that we need to measure. Okay. 
it looks like we have almost nine and a half meters for one edge and almost 10 meters for the other edge. Now that I have those measurements, I can go ahead and start setting up my roof. But first I need to delete the existing one. So I go to my selection tool, make sure my roof gets selected and hit delete. Now I can do shift A, mesh, arc mesh, roof. And now I go to my roof menu and I'll go through these fields one by one. The first one we have is our different tile models and I'll just click through these to see what they look like. Model two, model three, and model four. Model three looks pretty good, so I'll go ahead and select that one. And for the next three fields, we have the number of tiles in the X and Y direction and a scale factor. And right below that, we have the size. So let me bring back the measurements again. And I'm going to add tiles and scale it to make sure that they can cover the measurements uh, we took earlier. Okay, I'm gonna switch to top view to get a better perspective of what the tiles are gonna look like. So I go tilde, then eight. And for my X tiles, I'll do 10, five for Y tiles, and I'll scale it by a factor of five. That looks pretty good, but we can see down here in the size that it doesn't quite cover our entire roof area. I want the size to be at least 10 by 10 meters. So I'll add one more tile in the X direction. And that should cover it. And down here we have the tile thickness and roof slope. I'm not gonna change these because I think the tiles look pretty good the way they are now, but I will show what they do. So if you change the tile thickness, that's what that looks like. Okay, uh, I'll type the original value back in, uh, 0 0.012. And if you change the roof slope, it does that. And I'm not gonna change the slope yet because I can also use the rotate function and I'll do that next. Now that I've finalized my roof settings, I can start working on moving it to the area where it needs to go. I need to rotate it about the vertical axis. So I hit R then Z then type in 90 for 90 degrees. Now I need to give it a slope. So I, I hit R, then Y, and I rotate it down until it's right on top of the gray plane. Make sure that it doesn't go past any of the gray. And there you have it. We place tiles on the roof. Here, if you still need to make it fit better, you can always scale it along the X or Y axis. And to finish up this video, I'll show one last thing we can do with the measuring tool. We can also measure angles. For example, if I wanted to measure one of the angles in one of the windows, I can take out my ruler 
snap the ends to opposite corners using my control hotkey and then to measure the angle you can grab the middle of the ruler and pull it towards the corner that you want to measure and again you can use control to snap it and there you have it 90 degrees thank you for watching this video